So I just installed this new AGM battery because I got tired of, you know, the battery acid leaking out from the traditional ones and then corroding up your uh, terminals. Uh, they did mine pretty bad. Um, the bottom of this is actually completely missing. Uh, so it is only holding from the top. Uh, so the battery that Lexus used is a 27F. Uh, they didn't have the AGM version at Costco, so I just purchased this one, the 94R. Uh, the only difference between the two, they're almost identical. The only difference is the height of the battery. So it is a bit shorter than 27F. Uh, but what I did was I modified this piece right here, uh, the ground. Uh, or negative, I guess. Um, it's usually attached to here, so I just bent it straight and flat. So this could be installed right into it. Um, the other thing about these AGM batteries that they're okay just normally, but they aren't fully charged if you don't install this diode. Uh, GM does make it a factory one, and uh, I believe AC Delco you can use um, the AC compressor diode. So basically, I got this from O'Reilly's. This one was like about, depending on where you are, it could be five bucks um, for it after tax and everything. Uh, the most important thing is to install this facing back towards the car or to the right. So by doing so, you would have to remove this fuse right here, the 7.5, which is the alternator fuse. Once you remove that, pop that right in. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but after you get it, this you have to grind it down. But I think I grounded it down a little bit too much uh, because you can kind of see. Well, this side you could see the, the looks like copper side, uh, but from looking inside this, it doesn't look like uh, there's any metal or anything that can contact it and create a disturbance. So, with that being said, I am installing this piece. So you just push it all the way down. And it does face the back. Uh, the reason why you want to install this is because the battery itself isn't charged, uh, doesn't charge the AGM batteries 100%. So what you want to do is by installing this diode, uh, it tricks the battery, uh, the, sorry, the ECM or the computer saying that it's a uh, low voltage. So it'll slightly raise the the voltage to fully charge this uh, battery, the AGM battery. Yep. So all in all, you can run without it, but why not? Five bucks, might as well install this little piece.